Hi and welcome to a new Volo. Ever since Dave Jones aka EV Blog launched its uh, PCB ruler a few years back, a multitude of uh, PCB ruler designs started to appear. I'm not sure if uh, he started the trend or not, at least a few years back there weren't so many designs as you can find these days. I have a couple of them. This one I got from uh, eBay, it has all the uh, common SMD uh, footprints. So you can use this as a reference when you don't know the physical dimensions of a particular package. It also has the uh, different AWG uh, wire gauge sizes. So it's pretty useful to have one of these on the bench. This second one is uh, identical. Uh, but it has the uh, Mouser uh, logo and I believe this is the uh, original design by Dave Jones although I'm not 100% sure I haven't uh, checked that on his uh, website. And now for the uh, real purpose of uh, today's video uh, I ordered myself a third ruler which should be the nicest ruler you can get right now at least in my opinion. I uh, first saw this on uh, Shahriar's channel, the signal path on uh, YouTube. And if you're not subscribed to his channel, you should. I will post the link uh, on screen right now. He uploads really nice videos, mostly on um, RF and microwave stuff, but he is just a brilliant engineer. Really nice um, style of videos, very educational. He showed this uh, PCB ruler and uh, I was impressed because it's the uh, first ruler I've seen of this kind. So as you can see it's much larger than the previous ones, maybe three times as, uh, as large. But it's the first PCB ruler that I've seen to contain microwave components. You know the uh, black magic stuff that you find on every high frequency microwave PCB design. So let's take a closer look at this. The nice thing is that... Uh, you can use it to identify uh, microwave components in PCB layouts because each of these components have their names written right here on the ruler. At least for me this is very useful because sometimes I take apart microwave uh, stuff to show you guys in teardowns but I don't always recognize everything I see and uh, it's, it's nice to uh, be able to easily identify the components uh, even if just for showing you guys or if I'm attempting a repair, it's very useful to understand that circuit. Let me just uh, name a few of the um, components in here. You see this is a printed filter. No doubt this is present on every microwave uh, uh, PCB I've seen. We can see a Wilkinson uh, divider right here. Let's see, uh, the classical 2.4 GHz antenna that you see on every Bluetooth uh, module. Uh, butterfly stubs, I've seen this, uh, this component. Uh, directional coupler, I've also seen this uh, in um, microwave uh, uh, transmitters. Uh, some uh, low pass filter, I don't remember seeing it uh, in this uh, shape and form but this can take uh, many forms. Let's check on this uh, other page. A wideband dipole. Um, let's see what uh, Vivaldi antenna. Shahriar was talking about this. He um, uh, he's using Vivaldi antennas uh, in his experiments. And uh, all of this is gold plated looks like to be the uh, standard uh, 1.6 millimeter uh, PCB. So yeah, nice uh, nice quality on this uh, PCB ruler. The cost of the ruler was 14 US dollars including uh, shipping. So it's not like the uh, 
cheap ones that you can get from China for about $3 uh, shipped but it's much uh, nicer and so far I don't think the Shenzhen market has uh, copied this uh, design yet in my case it shipped from uh, Greece to Romania and it arrived pretty fast I think it was uh, one week so if you'd like to check this out I will post a link in the description it's not an affiliated link I don't get anything in uh, return I just think it's an awesome ruler and for me at least it's going to be very useful uh, in my future videos so this was just a short video because I wanted to show you this ruler I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I will see you in the next one